At first glance, it is clear that this is a buklaus. It has a recognizable body shape, a large white head, light coloring and even when looking through a camera lens, you can see translucent body coverings. Especially since my viewer filmed this video in a new apartment, which he moved into and found these inhabitants in it. In general, if people write to me that they found insects in a new house or in a new apartment, then with a 95% probability there will be book lies in the video. It even seems that book lies are some kind of obligatory attribute of newly built houses and newly renovated premises. They love wet surfaces, damp materials and molds. And since countless new houses, new apartments and new renovations are being made all over the world, I every day receive letters with sources for identification. But this book louse is not like the ones they usually sent me. Just take a look at the macro photo the author sent me along with the video. Do you see how big its eyes are? In book lies they are not small at all, but this one has especially large ones. In terms of body shape, this specimen is similar to a common book louse Trogium pulsatorium, but its eyes are too big for this species. Here is a comparison. On the left is our specimen, on the right is Trogium pulsatorium. With similar body sizes, the eyes of our insect are significantly larger. Such large eyes are a distinctive feature of book lice from the genus Cerebasis. Uh, the most common of them is Cerebasis gestfadica. Its body length is about 1.5 mm, so you understand how close you have to look to see them. And since it is difficult to accurately identify the species even from the best photo, we will assume that it is most likely Cerebasis gestfadica. Especially since there is no particular difference in which species of this genus has settled in your home. These are generally harmless insects. They do not bite people and do not transmit infections. They can spoil groceries that are stored for a long time, for several months, in poorly closed containers, simply by clogging them with their excrements. If you do not store cereals and pasta at home for months, then these insects will not harm you. So if you have the same big-eyed neighbors at home, you now know what they are called. And if your insects look different and you cannot identify them, take a video and photos of them and send to my email. I will try to recognize them. But before that, just in case, look at the selection of photos with different species of book lies. Who knows, maybe your pets will be among them. Likewise, you can watch the selection of videos with sources from my subscribers. And if all these little things suddenly turns out to be interesting to you, subscribe to my channel. I will definitely show you other our miniature neighbors in a house.